Case, what in the heck are we up to today? Well, isn't it obvious? We've got our truck wrapped in Stars and Stripes, and it's the 4th. So we are taking our <laughs> Stars and Stripes Cybertruck into a parade for the 4th of July. So a lot of folks are wondering, why did we do this crazy wrap bonnet with the, the blue and the white and the red stripes in the back? It's because we wanted to do something fun for the 4th of July, which is why we're here in... Firestone, Colorado. Exactly. So we're going to run this truck to the 4th of July parade here. Now, it's funny, like every other vehicle here, we've got like... Camaros and Hellcats galore. We yeah, got... which is traditionally the very American kind of vehicles that you would think of. Yep, we got a really cool C8 Corvette back there. We got one of the most lifted F350s I've seen in a, in a, in a hot sack. And we've got a lot of kind of fun folks here. I think we're the only electric vehicle at the 4th of July parade. And, and there's de definitely some mixed feelings here about the Cybertruck. I mean, we've had a number of people come up to us and say, that's really cool. And then we've seen some, some grimace well, from other people, which is understandable because the Cybertruck is not the most loved vehicle out there, but it is, technically speaking, a very American-made truck. It is the most American-made truck case, so this... Technically speaking, that's that's not in a matter of opinion, no, that's literally just a measurable thing. <laughs> parts content yeah. where it's manufactured and American hands manufacturing it, it's this and the Honda Ridgeline, oh. basically tied for first. That's the, so disappointing. The Ford F-150 is 58, the Ram 1500 is like 43rd, and the Silverado and Sierra are like 89th and 90th. So that's why we went ahead and adorned our Cybertruck with the American flag. Yeah, and I think it makes the truck look way better. But of course, we're going to get some people's reactions today to see what everybody else thinks. All right. Yeah, there's definitely two camps. Well, let's go hit this parade. So Case, have we improved the looks of our Cybertruck? I would say so. I mean, there's definitely some people that don't love it, but it's definitely more interesting looking in my mind than just plain stainless steel. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, we've turned it from a refrigerator <laughs> into an American flag yeah. refrigerator. When I also love Stars and Stripes. Little known fact, I wear Stars and Stripes socks every single day. Every single day. <laughs> now, Case, we are one of the more conspicuous vehicles at a parade, <laughs> which is saying something because it's a parade full of conspicuous vehicles. Yeah, when the other conspicuous thing that, uh, that we can do, but it's kind of iffy is that we, we set this up to screech when you hit the horn, but if you're moving, it doesn't... It uh, doesn't let you do yeah, it, which is a, a little, bummer. That's a little disappointing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can play the American anthem at the push of a horn when you're stopped, but not when you're moving. Yeah. But look, people seem pretty excited about it. No yeah, for the most part. No one's throwing anything. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good thing this truck has a tough exterior because definitely not everybody is a fan. Yeah, no, for sure. What I'm finding is a lot of the older, I hate to say it, primarily bald guys here <laughs> hate the Cybertruck. Yeah, and I understand it. This is not my favorite vehicle that's on the market. But everybody under the age of 12 <laughs> absolutely loves it. Yeah, which also makes sense because it looks like something that a 12-year-old would draw. Oh, 100%. No, for sure. It looks like a triangle mounted on a square. Um, but Case, what's love it or hate it, what you have to say about this vehicle is if you were to bring an F-150 Lightning to a parade uh, yeah. or a Silverado EV, you would look like normal traffic. Yeah, oh, for sure. Anywhere you drive the Cybertruck, love it or hate it, you do look pretty crazy. Yeah, so we had some interesting conversations with people that stopped by the truck, but a lot of people were excited to see it. And they, at the end of the day, it is just a different vehicle out there on the road, which makes it in some ways interesting. I would say, I think it's funny how irritated some people get by this truck because it is, at the end of the day, it's, it's just a thing. It's just a vehicle. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's, like it. it's like if you rode a horse and you were like, gosh dang it, I am never getting in a car. Yeah. Never, ever, <laughs> I'm never going to get a car. Yeah. Look, it's, it's not my favorite vehicle, but at the same time, I don't have a visceral reaction to it. Right. It's, Some people do. <laughs> it's just another car or truck. It just happens to look like a triangle. Yeah, exactly. But we did have one really funny conversation. Hi, guys. We did have one really funny conversation with a lady who was on the board of the electricity company here who was viciously anti-EV. <laughs> well, and I, I totally understand not wanting to buy one for yourself, but uh, there are some practical applications for it. Honestly, if I had my pick, though, of a vehicle to bring here to the parade, I'm thinking <laughs> C6 Z06 
camped. Right? Yeah, stage three cam, also wrapped in stars and stripes. That'd be kind of ideal. That feels the most American. We need like <laughs> some cool stuff you can do in this. Like, we have like the four wheel steering, right? Which is kind of cool. Yeah. If we had a Hummer EV, we could crab walk. We could which crab would be walk, fun. which would be really fun. But yeah. at this point, I don't think anyone really cares about the Hummer EV. Not as much as the Cybertruck. And look, I think they've sold like eleven thousand of them, but they're still very much a novelty, especially where we're at in Colorado. Yeah. Like, politically leaning, this is not Cybertruck country. <laughs> no. But even still, most folks are genuinely very excited to see it. Should we stop and do a screech? We can try, yeah. Yeah, we can try. Let's see. Ready? Replace horn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's a little bit of a process getting it to do that. Yeah. Because we even have a USB in the dash that's giving us our, our screech. I mean, the coolest thing you can do in this vehicle is you can just dump it. So here, we'll just... <laughs> oh, yeah, we should have gone into service mode to we'll, squat the truck. We'll air out the bags and we'll just get it super low. <laughs> Check that out. Yeah. So definitely there's, there's a fair number of people that are getting a kick out of it. Obviously, not everyone loves it, especially on the internet, because the internet is where people go to uh, critique. But yeah, I, I think this truck looks a lot more fun. I think it was a super fun thing to do for the 4th of July parade because especially on a day like today, people are pretty excited to see a crazy truck like this. And again, whether you love it or hate it, it is a pretty crazy truck. It is a pretty crazy truck. Crazy truck like this that is built in the USA, wrapped in stars and stripes is pretty fun. I think this looks so good though, we might have to keep it wrapped like this for a while. I think we might have to. You know, I was pretty anti-wrap at first. We'll try. We'll do our best. Yeah, not a lot of revving to be done in this vehicle. No. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we should keep it wrapped, Case. I think it's yeah, I idea. think it looks a lot more fun this way because, obviously, there's you can't buy these trucks in different colors. So if you have it just in the regular stainless steel, it looks like every other Cybertruck. This definitely does not look like every other Cybertruck. We did see one other Cybertruck on the internet that was wrapped stars and stripes. Yeah. But done with a definitely a different design than what we've got on here. Uh, and I like our design a lot. Shane, our buddy that wraps all our vehicles, he did such a good job with this one. Yeah, you know, he really did. And the, 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 the way that the stars and the stripes and the fireworks kind of all line up with each other, yeah. it works really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. It's super cool. No, for sure. And if someone really hates this vehicle, we're bulletproof up to a certain level, too. So <laughs> yeah. we're, we're going to be in pretty yeah. good shape. So we can just duck. I mean, we are. We do live in the Wild West, so. Someone's, <laughs> someone comes at us with a hammer, we're good, because it's dead proof. Just yeah. don't hit any of the glass. And exactly. I'm sure they won't aim for the glass. There's quite a lot of glass, exactly. No, we need, like, a party trick. The only party trick is, like, the four-wheel steering. Yeah, which is only so interesting. Which is only so interesting. Let's yeah, say. I mean the guys in front of us in cammed Camaros, they can they can rev it, which sounds incredible. Uh, yeah, like that guy said back there, we can't really rev an engine. No. So it's it's a little a little underwhelming to listen to because there's nothing here, but it is at least uh, something interesting to look at. Woo! I got nothing. <laughs> and um, the thing is. We can't throw candy at, in this parade. Yeah. It's just that, terrible. This is a crazy thing that's, I didn't know that this, that this was a thing now, but apparently you can't throw out candy anymore because they're worried Thanks, about guys. people getting hit by candy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Should we show a shot of it moving from the outside? Sure. Gavin, you want to hop out? Yeah, because that's kind of, you know, from the interior, it still looks like a pretty regular cyber truck, but uh, where it looks the most interesting, is yeah, on the outside. It's definitely on the outside. Yeah. No, no for we're sure. Gonna, we're going to make uh, Gavin do some walking. Thank you. Man, I appreciate it. No, we had a viewer over there. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we're making the intern do the yeah, do, do the walking. Do all the hard work. Thanks, Gavin. <laughs> we appreciate your support. Yeah. So, no, it is. It's it's an interesting vehicle especially right now because they haven't gotten tons of them pumped out yet. So, we're starting to see more of them out on the road, but uh, at the moment, it's still a little unique to see it. There's a, a little, we'll do our best. Yeah, a lot of people want us to rev it. <laughs> there's, there's no revving to do, sadly. No. I wish there was. I think, Tommy, that we should put a twin charge Cummins rear mounted in this and have someone do us a tube chassis and a solid axle swap. Dude, that right there is the dream. Just take the body of this and drop it onto a real deal chassis. 
<laughs> Thank you. What's funny is yeah, like there's some people that like it. I do find online people hate this thing. Yeah. When you're in person and people can like like the online thing gives gives people a sense of anonymity. You yeah. know, when you come out here and people know that they hear your opinions, they're yeah. generally pretty excited about it. Yeah, which is kind of true of of most things online in general. You'll get a lot more criticism when people aren't actually looking you in the eye. Right. Uh, but yeah, there's still definitely people who will walk up and very openly say, I, I don't like this. Get it out of here. Yes, that does happen. Yeah. yeah, it does. It happens a little bit. But I think in general, most people know that it's just a vehicle. It's a truck-ish. And uh, yeah, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's not a huge deal. Exactly. Yeah, it's like getting, getting mad over a toaster. <laughs> yeah, which so, ultimately is probably this, this vehicle's closest sibling. This is a stainless steel toaster. <laughs> yeah. Gavin, are you ready to hop back in? All right, keep rolling, buddy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, overall, I think, I think uh, that we're It was a okay. success. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Overall, people like the Cybertruck. I think the rap was a big hit. Um, people either... We, we've made it more polarizing one way or another. Yeah, exactly. But we'd love to hear your opinion, folks, of what you think of our rap yeah. Cybertruck. And in general, we just wanted to do something fun for the 4th. So happy 4th of July to everybody out there who's watching today. And uh, yeah, enjoy your day. Yeah, we'll see you next time.